Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this grungy, sparkly, glitter, smoky eye for Valentine's Day or anti-Valentine's Day. Let's get started. I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Enigma, which is a pink neutral shade that's going to cancel out any discoloration in my eyes. I'm following it up by setting that with Ochre from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. My transition color is going to be Love Letter, which is a bright pink that looks a little orangey in the shade, but it's pink. And I'm just going to blend that pretty high up on my brow bone. And I'm also going to continue it on my lower lash line. On my lids, I'm going to be using the Estee Edit Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Scarlet Eclipse, which is a very, very pigmented red, red, red eyeshadow color. And I'm going to put that all over and kind of blend it up into the Love Letter color that we already laid down. And I'm going to use my fingers for that, just really warm it up and work it in. Then I'm taking a little bit of the cream color on a brush, this is a MAC 233, and I'm going to put that all over my lower lash line. I'm going to set the cream color with Venetian Red from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. Then I'm going to follow that up with the Too Faced Glitter Glue on my inner corner and kind of working it up towards my brow bone, I guess, just that little curve on my bone. Then I'm going to put on top of that the MAC 3D Pink Glitter and that's what's going to give us that really wow factor, I guess, for the eyes that sparkle. I'm going to wipe off any excess with a makeup removing wipe. And then I'm going to prime my lashes using one of my favorite mascaras, the MAC In Extreme Dimension Mascara. And I'm going to apply the most dramatic lashes I have ever owned. These are by Huda Beauty and they're called Scarlet and they are just insanely dramatic. Like, insanely dramatic. I've never tried anything that's more wham bam than these lashes. I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows with a pink eyeshadow from the MAC Chris Chang collection. Because somebody left me alone with the bleach. And I dyed my eyebrows. Now it's time for my base. I'm using a combination of NC30 and NW25 Studio Finish Concealers from MAC to conceal all around my face and kind of mask any dark spots. Then I'm going to follow that up with the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, which is really, really nice and perfecting, but it doesn't last very long on my skin. But I'm going to blend that out anyway with a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which also isn't my favorite, but I can deal with that. Then I'm going to spot conceal any dark areas that still come through the foundation with the Kat Von D Lock It Cream Concealer, which is extremely pigmented and will cover everything. I'm highlighting and contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in medium. So I'm using the lightest yellow shade Banana, I think, and then I'm going to use a combination of Fawn and the middle darker color on my cheekbones as a contour. And I'm doing all of this with the same Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques. Then I'm going to take a clean foundation brush and just kind of buff out any dark areas. And I'm going to bake, which is something I don't use very often, this technique. I'm going to do it all over the areas I highlighted and areas that I really want to bring forward in my face. So obviously under my eyes, my nose, my chin, my forehead, and um, right under that contour to really sharpen it up. Once I've waited a little while, I'm going to buff that away with a brush. Just a big, big, fluffy, fluffy brush. Then I'm going to use the Physicians Formula Four Seasons Bronzer, which is kind of everything, and I'm going to really sharpen up that contour. Then I'm going to use You Know Who's Highlighter, which I already own, so I guess I can use it on my cheekbones and in the high points of my face. A little bit of blush on the cheeks. And then I'm going to top it off with what you came here for, which is that really dark, vampy, eggplant lip color. This is Drop Dead Red by Too Faced. It's one of their melted liquid lipsticks. 
and that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun to do and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.